Hey guys, Cassie Deputy at Deputy Tribe. And today we are gonna talk about a online math video game called Bag and the Dragon from edalive.com. Now, if you um, have your kids home for the summer or you guys just like to switch things up a little bit during the summer when it comes to math and you know those routine um, subjects and take a break from your math curriculum, then you are gonna wanna check this program out. Um, I'm gonna have my daughter show you the program and walk you through how to play the game. It's a online board game that is completely math focused. Um, it's tailored to each specific grade group. You punch in your child's information and it tailors it for a child that age um, and what they should be learning or what they should know. So go ahead and check that out right after this. First you go to edalive.com and then you go up here and you can log in and then it'll say my apps right here and then you know which ones are your apps. These are all the Edalive games that you can play and then play and then I'll press new game and then um, I usually do versus computer, you can tap down here and change your token to whatever you want it to be. Horses, dogs. Then I'll put versus computer. And then you get to pick what level you want. You see right here it says advanced. So, and it says forest number five. This one is village number four and it's basic. Basic. They have a basic for base um, for each level. I think they have a village, a forest, and a tournament, and a castle. And then you get to turn. You can either do it how many turns you do, I've learned, or how many minutes you play for. And then you get to change how many players you want. You have maximum of four and minimum of two. So and then. So you tap this, guys, and it'll say how many turns you get to go. And what we're trying to do is get to the sword. Computer. And then after you and your opponents go once, you get to answer a math question. So changing numbers. Change this number in these four different ways. The number is 4.3 multiplied by 100 is 300, 400? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this is. So what do you do if you don't know? Oh, you press. if you don't know what it is, you press this too hard and it'll take you to an easier question. Here's the number. Where are the words? Put the correct words in each box. So 405 is this one. And you just put it in there. 540 is none of them. So one thing I noticed is when you hit too hard and you go to a lesser question, they're dramatically easier. Yeah. So they must jump down several grade levels or something. And if you accidentally push too hard instead of okay, there's only three questions. So if you can just keep pressing too hard until you get back to the question you were first at. Oh, okay. 
yeah, and then okay, well done. and it'll work. Right, get it right. And then you want strength because you use strength to buy um, swords, and then at the end of the game you get points for how much strength you have. And swords. And swords. You want swords? Those are good. Give or take ten thousand, add fifty thousand to twenty five divided by five is five. This gram shows the scores from a spelling test taken by Mrs. Miss Dodd's class. How many students scored 20? Then one hundred twenty seven thousand three hundred fifty six. So you got to simplify it. Mm -hmm. That looks a little tricky. It says double one number and half the other. Well, that's half this one. So, quick, explain what's going on. Oh, uh, so there's no more turns left. So now uh, we're going to do who won. So this is the total dice roll. He won. Um, total times you roll. And correct answers percentage. I won. Total brain choose your attempts. I won. So the dragon's coming, and now we're tallying up points. Yeah. Unused strength. He won that. He wins. So and then we're going to see who won. So that's the computer. And I won! Yeah. The dragon comes! Oh, the dragon's coming. And then you press the OK. And then you get to see yourself fight the dragon, except for you. Okay. It's a little so bit funny. cheesy. So. <laughs> Turn the volume up. Is that you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no it's, 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 just, it's just a video. It's not actually me. It's just a, yeah, I mean, it is. It's supposed to be you though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be you though, isn't it? Even if the computer was just so play the same thing. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's so fast Missed me. <laughs> <laughs> So are you gonna defeat the dragon? Yeah. Have you ever lost and it's defeated you? No. You always defeat the dragon. You always defeat the dragon. Even the pug. See, it's super. <laughs> yeah, you would have been roasted. Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do with him? You'll see. Oh, you'll see. <laughs> Isn't he dead though? No, no. he's alive.
that's the end of the game. Mm -hmm. No, there's one more thing. Oh yeah, here's one more thing. You do that, and then you, you go know, back. You go back, and you get. No, oh, I didn't get my next hero, hero cards. Show them your hero cards. Oh yeah, you get hero cards. So what so. is that? So I don't know what they actually do, but you just collect these cards and you can print them out. So how do you get them? By just getting points every game you play? Yeah, yeah. apparently I didn't get any points for this one. I think you yeah. added to this this hero that you're um, trying to get. Yeah, the longer the game, the yeah. more cards you get. Ah, I normally play like three, thirty turns. Cool. So tell me, what do you guys think about this game? Because four of you played it for the last like month and a half. It's really fun. You like it? Yes. What did you like? What didn't you like? I didn't like how you didn't actually get to fight the dragon. How you just won and you watched this video and you just won every single time. And I did like though some of the um, some of the lands, like the uh, the town, the castle, the village. I think it is. Yeah, the village. They have shops. At a certain level, they have shops, and you can go there and get things like, um, like you can get a villain, and they'll steal strength or swords. Or oh, something. cool! Or you can get a horse, and it'll double every uh, dice roll you get. Oh, cool! Or like, do you have to like purchase them with your strength? Yeah. Okay. You don't like a smoothie? But that's fun. I like doing that. Is a smoothie fun? So then it adds a bit more strategy to the game. Yeah. Here, I'm going to give you an idea of what the questions look like for, how old is Elias? Seven? Seven. So what is that, like first grade? It reads it to you. It reads it to you. So there are four groups of four. All together there are one, two, three, four. Four times four. Fifteen. <laughs> Okay. Correct. Correct. Is it gonna read it to us? No, this one. This one reads it. So first Joanna cracked two eggs, then she cracked two more eggs. How many did she crack all together? Fantastic. You mean a pig can't fly? Yeah. Goes to her grandmother who lives in Honeysuckle Road. She takes the bus from her house to Ivy Creek. So, if you're wondering about the age, here it is. It is 5 to 15. 5 to 15 covers 90% of their math curriculum. It's safe and secure. Um, it automatically adapts to each student, as you can see. which I really like. That's really a cool aspect of it. Huge range of math content. As you can see, as I've been showing you examples of the questions, there's story problems, there's charts, there's comparisons, there's all sorts of different. Yet telling time. You can also have a multiplayer. Can you guys play each other? It says there's a multiplayer option. Oh yeah, you can host a game. Well, can the two of you compete with each other? I think so. We've Please never try. even tried that. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. All right, so here we figured out you can have more than one kid play together. So I could have all four of my kids, if I had four devices, playing uh, this game together. So you guys getting different math questions, I'm assuming? Yeah. So there's her math question. And there's her math question. And then you can see the outcomes. Uh oh, here comes the dragon. I purposely got that wrong. Any device anywhere, which is really fun. So I hope this review gave you guys a little bit of an idea of what edalive.com offers through Bag and the Dragon. If you're interested in this program, go ahead and check out the links below. And um, yeah, have fun. Have your kids have fun. Video games are a great way to learn math. Um, we are not a big electronic family, but when it comes to, you know, like special occasions, rainy days like it is today, 
um, having a educational outlet for them to be able to hone in on their math skills is a lot of fun and it really um, challenges their speed and rec like recall and, and things like that. So go ahead and check it out. We've never been disappointed with edalive.com's programs. Um, we have a re some reviews on a few of them, so you can check those out too. And that's it. Jesus is coming. Bagging the dragon at alive.com. <laughs>